Today I'll show you how to crop any photo into a circle. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for this image in the video description. To crop our image into a circle, first we need to make a circle. So I'll come over here to our shape tools, and then I'll click on this little gray triangle to open up all of our shapes. Then I'll select the ellipse tool. Now if you want to make a perfect circle, it's important that as you click and drag, you hold down shift on your keyboard. And now that we have our circle made, we can go ahead and place this layer as a child layer to the circle. So I'm going to click on this and drag it to the right of the circle. And now you can see that our photo is inside of the circle. Now you could stop here, but there's a few more things that I want to show you. You can use the move tool at this point. And with the ellipse layer selected, you could move it around and resize it while holding down shift. We gotta make sure that that stays proportional there. And you can also move around the subject image. Now, because this image is what we started with, it's locked, so you just need to click on that to unlock it. And now with the move tool, you can adjust how she's positioned inside of the circle. So I'll make her a little bit larger and center her. And that looks pretty good. Another way that you can customize this type of image is you can add a border to the circle. So with the ellipse layer selected, you can go up to the context toolbar and where it says none right here, go ahead and click on that. And now you can increase the width and you can see that we start to have a border appear around our circle. Now, the larger we make this border, the more it encroaches on our subject's photo here. So one setting I like to use is right down here. You can draw this stroke behind our subject. So now no matter how large or small you make this stroke, it's not impeding on our photo here. And if you want to change the color of this stroke, you can press right here. And something that I like to do is use the color picker to sample a color from our original image. So I'll just click and drag on the color picker. And I think I'll choose this orange color from her shirt. And then you can click right here to apply it to the stroke. To get this ready to export, I'm going to crop this image. So selecting the crop tool, I'm just going to drag in all of the sides. And then you can press apply. And now we're ready to export. Now it's important when exporting your file to make sure that you export it with the right settings. So I'm going to click export. Now by default, you probably have JPEG selected. If you were to export this as a JPEG, these transparent edges here wouldn't appear transparent at all, they would appear white. In order to keep this transparency, you need to select PNG, and then you can press export. And there we have it! Now you can easily crop any photo into a circle. If you want to learn more affinity tricks, be sure to check out my free course in the video description, where you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.